Damn! Hello everyone, Blaine Sarge here. Welcome to a brand new Let's Play series of RimWorld. We are once again jumping back into the Warhammer 40k universe by votes of you guys, the fans. And I'm excited to play with this series. Uh, just the other day, I posted a video, I'm calling it Episode Zero, for this Let's Play series. It kind of gives you the vibe and the theme of what is going on with this series. Um, I'm excited to play it. And if you guys are excited to watch this series and you can't wait to see what happens, be sure to smash and destroy that like button. Leave a comment down below and let me know that you guys are excited for this. Also, if you guys want to have your name, I'm just going to say this now, if you want to have your name as a guardsman and help us fight against the enemies of the Imperium, put your name in the comment section down below and please be sure to leave them only on this episode. That way I have one spot where I can go take a look and grab the names for future episodes. All right, I'm excited. Let's get started. So I already have a pre-made thing ready to go. We are, yeah, this is, this is gonna be fun. I'm excited. Of course, we're going to, yeah, yeah let's do this. This sounds like fun. Because losing is fun. I'm going to say blood and dust. I, I'm, I'm just going to do this one. That's a little too much. Um, yeah, let's do it. What could possibly go wrong? Famous last words. Okay, uh, we are going to take out anything that is not 40K. If it's not 40K, it's out. Um, oh, do we want... Yeah, take out mechanoids. Let's take out insectoids. Anything else should be here. Now, there is some mods I could not get to work. Excuse me. There was one that added in the Eldar, the Orcs, and the Tau Empire. I could not get them to work. For some reason, every time I um, put the mod in, I couldn't draft anybody. I couldn't give anybody orders. So, unfortunately, that mod is out. Because, yes, I would love to fight against the Eldar and Dark Eldar and all that. That's fun. But at least, hey, we got Tyranids. We got Tyranids. Oh, God. Yeah, we got Tyranids. We have Necrons. We have uh, Chaos Cults. We have Chaos Space Marines. We have other Imperial Guardsmen. We have Traitor Regiments. We have, <laughs> we have the uh, Sisters of Battle. So our main threat here is going to be Chaos Space Marines, Necrons, and Tyranids. This is going to be fun. All right, let's generate the world. Let's get started. Oh, God, this is going to hurt. Um, and as we progress, if it doesn't seem like I'm getting a challenge, I might add even more horrible, horrible, horrible things to come after us. Yeah, let's not do that. We will do that, though. Um, so, they absolutely hit us. There's some dark angels. And the reason I went with dark angels is not because I like the, the faction. It's because there's chaos space marines here, and they absolutely are going to... They It makes sense. They Their sole purpose, they go after traitor... Guardsmen or traitor guardsmen, traitor space marines. That is like their sole purpose. Um, I kind of want to be grouped around other guardsmen, just, not just because they'd be good trading partners or you know the allies, but they'd be good trading partners. Um, because I can't really carry chaos space marine weapons, so I don't want to trade with them. I mean, I'll trade with them, but I, I just it doesn't work. So I think this would be a good area, kind of fortify. With the rest of our guardsmen, because why not? That looks like a good spot. I'm not in their range. I am. I am. Okay. So we're close by. We could be friends. Who am I going to be up against? Necrons. And I, I, I believe that is Necrons. Yeah. So two Necrons. Great. And then there's a chaos over there. Do chaos. There's, a, there's some chaos. There's there's some bad things around the area. This is going to hurt. Okie dokie. I like that. Let's go with there. I want something where I can dig into the mountain. Because you guys know I like digging into the mountain. Um, I'm going to leave this all vanilla. Because I still rather not mess with these and really screw up something. Let's go with that. And I already have a preset. Prepare carefully. Uh, load preset. Load preset. That way you guys don't have to see me sit here for hours and hours. 
Yeah, no, that that should not be. Uh uh. Uh uh. No. Um. Yeah, that can change. Yeah, we'll put that there. Um, I don't know what was wrong with this one, but no. Yes, confirm. Get rid of. Um, yeah, I, I don't understand that. Why that was like that. But look, I could easily just put this right back. Not a problem. Everybody has to be a base level of five because, you know, guardsmen, everybody has to help out with everything. Um, what they're this in, and all guardsmen will be good shooters will be 10 with double and then everything baseline that okay i think that's good no one else got screwed up no everybody else looks good i know i didn't do that though that, that was whatever what is this get rid of that all right we'll go with this i think this is good at least i didn't have to do all of it Okay, here we go. I'm excited. Let's do it. What do we do first? No idea. We're all going to die. <laughs> Probably. All right. Okay, let's uh, immediately get everybody their gear. This is a little tedious, but it's better to do it now. Alright, now we're all going to look like proper guardsmen. While they start getting their stuff on, let's take a look around. Do we have any gas near us? Because that's going to be important. Yeah, now you look like proper troopers. Um, hmm. <laughs> what is that? That's kind of cool. I like that. That's really kind of cool. Um, so we're definitely going to be staying in here and building inwards. So there's only two. One here and one over here. Oh, goody. It couldn't have been in a worse spot. I gotta think of how I'm gonna do that. Okay, so we do need this because one of the mods I have installed. Let's see if it actually is in here. I don't. I'm not seeing it. It's probably not even researched. That could be it. Uh, no, 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 no. There's a lot of things in here. There's a lot of things in here. Yeah, a lot. Anyway, let's just get started out with the basic things, shall we? It's been a while. Um, just set up a little small barracks. Interesting. There's a reason I bought steel. How do we want to do this? Do I, uh, I, that's the thing I also have been trying to decide. Do I want to build like I always do, set up choke points, or do I want to set up like the Imperial Guard would do? They'd have a couple different buildings. They would have a defensive wall with gun emplacements. I think I'm going to go with that because 
I typically always do the same thing. I build into there and I do all that. So I will set up a small building as a barracks. Just for us to sleep in. And then we go from there. Hey, y'all want to, you know, cut these down? Actually, well, this would be the... Get rid of it all. Interesting. What do we got for power? What can we use for power? We don't have a lot. Uh, research. It has been a little bit. It has been a little bit. Okay. Nope, don't need any of this. Recreation? Ah, we're guardsmen. Who needs that? Guardsman. Uh, where is production? There we go. Uh, no. Where, 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 where? Don't tell me that's research. But oh, there we go. That will do fine. Uh, we'll set up another building for our stockpile. And before anybody says anything, that's a waste of steel. We're, we're the Imperium. We don't care. Because we just really don't. Is there any... Uh, yep, there's steel right there. Well, while they're having a party in the rain, let's get some of this mined up, shall we? I mean, have a party all you want, but that's a little bad, guys. Stop pile. Get to work. There we go. Uh, Aster Militarum. Oh, very tall. There's so many things in here. Yeah. The, I, I literally put all these mods together, and now I'm jumping in. I have no idea. Is that a good thing? Eh. Yeah, what could possibly go wrong? Just saw it. Gas extraction. This is what we are going to need eventually. Is to be able to pump out the gas and bring it over to us. Which is going to suck because that means we have to be defending it over there. We can do it. Uh, tips, 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 tips. How they go away? 
Uh, it's been so long, I don't remember. There we go. It's gone. Everybody go to bed. And yes, it is really dark. Because I'm using Realistic Nights light version, so it's not pitch black, it's just dark. Another reason why we need to get the, the gas extraction, because we can use the gas to light um, gas done like... Um, right words, Sarge. Uh, lamps. When we get daylight again, we'll start setting up our crops because we have to, unfortunately. Um, but we gotta have something for power. We really, really need power. Um, it looks like a... Well, this is about what we need for now. So there's a lot of trees. Might as well. not started up yet until we have things on in here that we can actually power up uh, furniture okay here we go Oh, yeah, we're getting plenty of steel. Uh, do we have a quarry? Yes, we do. Should we get one online? Absolutely. And we're just right now getting the base stuff up and running. Um... Excuse me, guys. Um, hmm. So what I'm thinking in the future is we will um, start actually getting a base of operations inside in here. I just want to get something going now. Um, but we need to start setting up some food. And this is just the first episode. It, we, we, it's going to take some time. one would be nothing but rice there we go have you be corn then you be and eh, might as well be potatoes we'll get that started Yeah, plenty of trees, so I'm not quite worried. Concrete walls, huh? Uh huh. Color me interested. But we need to start researching now. Um. Imperial Planetary Core. Hmm, we have so many things in here. And yeah, we're not doing Necrons. Kind of want to go with gas extraction. Start getting this up and running. What we're gonna do um and if that's there we're gonna have to have this whole area be our base of operate that sucks where's the other one again oh there is another one over here okay so there's three 
Yeah, there's three. It's really, what one do we want to try to defend? Um, this one might be just a little easier in the long run. We put a wall around here. Right? We have all this here. This will be our whole base. And then we have our defensive wall here. I think that is going to have to be the smart way to do it. Yeah, I'm purposely not for this for this series. I don't want to do a, um, a killing zone. I want to actually have like a wall defense with gun emplacements and everything. That's more what I want to try to do for this series. And then we'll have artillery to fire at things that are further away. And it's, it's going to be fun. It's going to be glorious. So I think this is the one we're going to try to grab and hold and defend. How much steel do we have? Lots of steel. And with this, we potentially will have even more. Okay, I, we need to start setting up jobs. Um... Uh, bed rest. There's a two. Who's our good farmer? That is your job. You are good at this. That's going to be your job. Uh, construction. That's going to be your job. That's it for right now. Eventually, I'm going to have to come in here and do all these. Who's good at cooking? You have no job, so that will be yours. Good enough for me. Well, right now, we, we, we can eat the this stuff raw, and it's fine. It's going to be a move, de move debuff, but it should be fine. We are getting steel from here. Excellent. All right, so I want to come up here and start getting... Um, where do we want a workshop? Do we want the workshop to be underground so it, it won't be messed with? Which is kind of a smart thing to do. Um, and so how big do we want it to get? You know what? We're just going to go. We're going to go with it. Um, start digging inwards. This could be a workshop. We can always expand on it later. And then up here. Is it the same? Yeah. Up here, this will be our storage area. So workshop, storage. And then we can come down and put rooms in throughout. Uh, but remember, defenses are going to be outside. We're not going to be holding out inside. That's what I want to try to do for this series. Kind of as a challenge to myself. It now became night. Here, plant cut. Uh, 
All right, let's see what's going on in the rest of the world around us, shall we? So that's the chaos. Oh, no, that's their base of operations. Oh, no. What do you guys have for trade? Corpse starch. Of course, first thing. Hey, you like some corpse starch? Um, no. No, I don't. No. Tastes like... Let's just say we don't want it. Weapons, what do you got? Ooh. At least we have a trading partner right there, which makes me really happy. All right. I probably should start setting up a perimeter wall. And it, yes, it'll be made out of steel for right now. It's just because it's stronger than wood. Um, but uh, we will replace it all with um, stone. Because trust me, I'd rather do concrete. So we can actually do concrete. It just, that's a little too much right now. Ooh, who's our good? Oh, yeah. That's all you should be doing. No, no, no. Come someone else do it. You'll do it if there's nothing else. But I need research, like, right now. Sorry, but no, that's what that's that's what you need to be doing. And if we ever get some tech tech priest armor, that's what you're gonna be wearing. You're gonna be our tech priest. Sandstone? Yeah, sandstone's not bad. But it could be bitter. Production. Go to orders and let's go to smooth this out. Might as well. Why not? How you doing on research? Yeah, you're getting there. I mean, we can always just put down wood. We have plenty of that and hold off on the steel. You know what? We will. That's what we're going to do. So structure. Okay, hang on a second. Is it stronger? That's 290. It is better. Don't ask me why, but it is better. Get that blocked off. And in the morning, what we're going to do is... Well, I, actually, I'm going to come over here and do it now since I'm right here. Orders down. There we go. Cut the trees. We have more. And what I want to do is um, start planning how the defensive wall is going to start looking. Because I want just a wall of guns, just two, 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 and heavy bolters and las cannons and mortars and just make everything explode. Kill. Uh, sandstone. Uh, do until, and we'll just do that, um, detail, yeah, bring this down so they have to come right around here, and then, drop on the floor, just drop it, cool, now who's our crafter? Who's that crafter? Come on. Stone cut.
Yeah, we'll do that. If you have nothing else to do, go ahead and start stone cutting. Pause it real quick. I want a dumping site. And let's clear all. This is just temporary. Uh, there. Important. Let's grab all the sandstone we can from around here. And then haul. That's coming along nicely. Okay, cut those up here. And yeah, that's not going to do anything, but it's going to give us a few seconds warning. That's literally all I'm doing it for. Not off to a bad start. All right, let's put that down to one. So we can take a look at this. Um, how do we want to do this? So if they're gonna be coming in this way, hmm, this is gonna take a lot of figuring out. Like I'm gonna have to sit down for a couple hours and figure this out. I, I don't want to just... Yeah, probably not this episode. But over the course of the next couple episodes, like off camera, I'm going to try to figure out how to design a cool looking base of operation, like a wall perimeter type thing. I don't know what I'm saying, but you know what I'm trying to say. I'll figure it out. Um, we have to put down some type of recreational. Because apparently they really need it. Now they're gonna have something to have for recreation. In between this episode and the, ne and the next episode, not only am I gonna name everybody, but I'm gonna go through, properly set up this stuff, and then I'm also going to try to plan out a cool wall, a bit, uh, perimeter wall out here. This one is more meant to be so thick they just go, nope, I don't want to, and then they come over to the guns. I don't know how I'm going to do it. Okay. How much steel do we have? Oh, lots. So I might want to set up a secondary building of some kind where we can store all the, the rice. But then again, the rice, we can eat it raw and it's fine. In fact, we might end up making a, um, what is it called? This, nutrient paste. Hey, you're guardsman. You don't need luxury food. I'm gonna put it, like, right here. They just come by, grab it, and go. Ooh, that's evil, but yes, it would work. Hmm. I, I'm, I'm torn either way, so I want you guys to decide what we should do. Should we build an underground base? Ooh. Should we build a more underground base of operations, or should we focus on building it outside? I, I'll do either one. An underground could be more like a hive city. That makes sense. You know, it's kind of you know what the Imperium does. And we can just have like one big wall right here that would be our perimeter wall and then everything else is on the ground. Um, or should we try to stay outside? You guys let me know. I have good ideas for both and I like to, I would like to do both, but I really can't do both. Um, or if you leave it up to me, I'll just pick one and we'll see what happens. 
That's the downside about starting off a new series. You you have so many ideas, you don't know which one to go with. Manhunter pack, really? Oh boy. Death by squirrels. Oh, this is so dumb if we die by squirrels. Hang on, hang on, hang on. I gotta watch this. Damn! All right, cardsman for the win, apparently. <laughs> Thwap. I. Ooh. Um. Let's go to Imperial Garm, and we're going to go with Alpha Base. I think that works. Um, finish them off so they don't get up and bite us in the heels. Thank you. All right, <clears throat> you're literally dropping on the ground. How many have you made? Quite a bit. Okay, with the stone we can start building this, the the perimeter wall. Um, how? We're not doing so good on research. We're, we're getting there, but it, it could definitely be a lot better. Yep, can't quite get over there. At least it's not completely dark. Alright. I want to check something. Let's have him come over here. Let me make sure one mod is working. Yep, the flash is working. Cool. Because that's the reason why I got the muzzle flash mod with the darker nights, because I want to see the flashes at night. I think that would look really cool. So. All right. We're, we're off to a good start. Not the greatest start, but a good start. Um, yeah, the more I play, I more... Even though I say I want to build outside, we're squishy guardsmen. For now, we're, we're, we'll have the base as it is, like we like we're doing. But I am gonna end these um, in case we have to do anything else. In case we have to move or anything. Um, hmm. I'm gonna leave my options open. But hey, gold. Um, actually, that's ceramite. Whatever that is. I don't know. I have no idea what this is used for. Um, go over here. Structure. Holy crap. That's actually a really strong wall. That's actually really good. Because right now, we did this. Oh, <laughs> yeah, we want stronger walls. Um, that's a lot of it. Like, no joke. That That's a lot. We might end up making our walls out of this. And there's more over there. Huh. That's some tough stuff. Get 
you guys haul that over here. What is your guys' problem? Darkness. Slept alone. Wait, so you mean slept alone? Apparently, they have some livers here. Who's the lover? Who's the lover? Who's the lover? Um, I don't know. So the law in Tiffany. Okie dokie. We have any others here? Okay, just just these two. Got it. Um. Well, this is just a starter base, but the more I keep playing, the more in the back of my head I'm just like, you know what? Inside an inside base is gonna be a lot more cool. And but at the same time, we need to fight outside because we need to be able to grab this. We could just wall this whole area off and then just have an indoor come in through the back. Like, this is our backyard, and then this is the front defense perimeter. That's actually a good idea. I don't think about it. Um, the more I keep thinking about it, the more I just want to be inside. Because it's a lot easier to keep the temperature right. Um, you don't have to worry about people jumping into your base. Um, you can literally defend them from the inside. Yeah, that's what we're going to do. It's decided. We're done with it. We're done. I'm done deciding. I know I said, hey, have you guys vote? But you know what? When you're stuck in the, in the 40K universe, do with what you know. Um, I am going to keep this stuff right here. And I'll keep the workshop here up the front so we can bring resources in, grab it, smelt it process it what have you um where this is right here eventually because this is just temporary we will have like our defensive wall here we'll block it off have a path that would come in through the back and then this will be like a backyard and we can use it for a growing area that's fine um and then we just put a large perimeter wall around on both sides and then have a huge defensive wall, and then they have to come through here. So it is kind of a choke point, but it's also not. It's a natural... I like that idea better. I like that idea way... I'm not so concerned about it. Okay, let's do that. And then also for here, however we do it, for our defense, like our indoor, we'll have a whole bunch of sensory guns. So if anybody jumps in, da -da 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 -da, we're just going to moan down. I like that. I like that a lot. Okay, so... I want to start setting up a, we need a, a common area, we need a chapel, chapel, no, we need a place of worship, because we, we worship the god emperor, and we need some uh, living quarters, so we have a lot of mining to do. Okay, so... Something like that. That's where the the, the throne room, chapel, uh, all that will be. Um, I'm going to hold off on this. Because I want to design it just right. Make it cool and get like an eagle on the on the ground and everything. Um, living quarters will be up here. I think that would be the best. Decent, you know, typical five by five. Okay, screw that up. These will be our cells. 
because we have to imprison anybody. One, two, three, four, five rooms. So we have a couple. That is a lot of mining. But it's gonna look really cool when it's done. Let's go. And plus, with the smaller defensive strong wall, not only do we can focus fire on the enemy, but we don't have to use as much as this. So it's also thinking ahead. But, uh, yeah, what I'm going to do is, when I go to work tonight, I'm literally going to sit down and think, because I have graph paper, I'm going to think out how I want to do a throne room type, like, area for praying for the god emperor. That's the reason why I didn't put any rooms right here, so that way I have plenty of room to think about it. Um, furniture. Do we have, like, a throne? Yeah, we do. I want to make it out of that. And can I turn it? Yes, I can. I think that would be really, really cool. Oh yeah, dude, we, we got plenty of options here. Okay, so I want to start putting in some power in here. And then that way I can start having lights in here so everybody can see. We probably want to start setting up defense something. So we're going to make it out of wood. Because we have plenty of wood. And it's just temporary. Uh, we're going to make a couple of bunkers, pretty much. So embrasures. I need one, two. I think I want to close them. set up yeah this is just temporary temporary yeah I think that will do nicely and then it's just it's just a perimeter wall that's it and I want this, so that way they know, they will tell the AI, the, the, the base game will know, hey, I gotta come this way to get in, and we'll have guns sitting here lighting them up. Um, yeah. If they start getting too close, we just fall back and start shooting. some light in here. Can't see a thing. There we go. Got some light in there. There we go. Now we can actually see. Kind of. Oh, we have plenty of stone. Oh, we have so much stone. And the only reason I'm doing wood 
we have an abundance of it and I yeah that's 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 literally the only reason but it's temporary nonetheless I honestly should have made it out of uh, stone which we probably will here in a little bit because you know we're getting so much of this um, because I'm afraid something's gonna burn and come right on in. But for now, I think it's okay. It's a somewhat perimeter wall. That's coming online soon. Once that is online, we can then come over here and start getting batteries. We can start working on hydroponics. That's another thing is once we get fully inside, I want to, like any good hive, I want to be a self contained ecosystem where I can literally just sit inside flip off the space marine the chaos space marines and say bring it okay so I think I need to go with that nutrient paste thing like right sooner than later um, just so I can save food uh, where is it and also, it kind of makes sense lore-wise um, to do this. Anybody says otherwise, fight me on it. Um, how do I want to do this, though? I, I can't remember if this thing could be put down and moved. So, I will not do that. Kind of like that. And then what I would do is a couple of hoppers. And then what we'll do is make a room. And then that way our food will just last just a bit longer. And it's more cost effective because we're the Imperium. We 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 want efficiency. Because yeah, efficiency. There we go. And then we just come and say, nope. Not those. We can always at some point move this out and get more in here. So I want to tell them to order well, order this harvest. Where is our grower? We should be doing nothing else but this. There we go. Research is done. Awesome. There we go. All right. Nutrient paste is done. Oh, God. They're going to hate me. Um, renewable energy. Maybe. But then again, if we're going underground, probably not. Because um, we're actually going to be using that, those jet, that down there. Oops, not there. It's down here. Use it and have generators that burn all, burn that for fuel. We're the Imperium. We don't care. Uh, let's see. Do we? What do we need next? Batteries. Basic batteries. That's what we need. Let's get that going. Yeah. Batteries. Batteries all the way. Let's go. So our food situation is definitely solved. We have power situation. Perfect. And yeah, I mean, they're not going to like this, but guess what? Welcome to the Imperium. N no one likes being in the Imperium. It's just, that's part of life, buddy. But I think this will be probably a good stopping off point for today's episode. Um, things are looking good. Things are looking real good. And um, yeah, it's, it's, a, it's a start. It's, it's definitely a start. And 
Hopefully you guys are enjoying it as much as I am playing it. If you guys did, remember to smash and destroy that like button. Leave a comment down below. Let me know that you guys enjoyed it. Also, if you guys have not already, check out my Discord links for that will be in the description down below. Over there, you guys can talk with me, hang out with me, and other, YouTuber, other YouTubers and other gamers. It is awesome and lots of fun. Hopefully, I see you guys over there. And last but not least, I would like to say thank you so much to my Patreon supporters. Thank you guys so much for going the extra mile to help support the channel. It really means a lot to me. Every dollar does not only help support the channel, but also get your name at the end of the video as a thank you. So until next time, thank you guys for watching. And I'll see you guys in the next episode. Take care, guys. And remember, have an awesome day.